Hi everybody, my name is Val. Welcome to Camp Creatology. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna to be making this fun marker tie-dyed bandana. So come on inside and join me and let's have some fun. Okay, let's get started with our marker tie-dye. What you're going to need for this, so this is our project here. Okay. So what you're going to need for this is you're gonna need, need a bandana. So a white bandana will work the best or white fabric, you know, whatever you have, but it needs to be like a cotton bandana. <clears throat> Chose this one with the traditional bandana print on it. Some washable markers, water-based markers, and a little spray bottle of water, and then um, either some parchment paper or some plastic wrap or a plastic Ziploc bag, something that you can spray on that the water will not soak into. And you'll once we get going, you'll see why that part's important. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Got these. Here's a tip. Now these are not required, but even though these are washable markers, they stain your hands. Um, I have had a hard time getting my marker to wash off my hands, so I'm gonna give you that fair warning. I'm gonna use these plastic gloves. If you have some plastic gloves laying around the house or if you have some uh, rubber gloves, something maybe that a parent has, don't ruin anything, they need to be disposable. Don't use your winter gloves, that's not gonna work. <laughs> So, okay, so I'm gonna open up this bandana. It's pretty big, okay? So there's our bandana. What we're going to do is we're going to put our color on our resistant surface. So our plastic bag, our parchment paper, um, our saran wrap, anything plastic that, that you can clean off. So this is how we start. We're going to just color our markers on here and see how it's kind of bubbling up. I'm using colors that I know will blend nicely together. So I'm using warm colors for this. My oranges, my yellows, my pinks, my reds. Okay. Then we're going to spray this with water. Then we're going to take part of our bandana and we're going to rub it over our marker. And see how it comes off on there? So now, goodness gracious, I'm gonna have to retape my paper down. What we can actually do is let's go ahead and, and wet our bandana. That'll help the pickup process so I'm just gonna do a little like a corner at a time. I'm gonna get it nice and damp. Doesn't have to be soaking wet. Okay, okay. I'll move it out of the way. Retape my paper down. Okay. Okay, so we'll see, see if this will work. Let's do some more colors. I'm just going to scribble our marker. And see, now I've gotten some of the paper wet so you can kind of see what's happening. The colors huddling and transferring. Some more of this red. Yeah. If you got batter markers, you can do that. If the paper gets too wet, the marker likes to stop transferring. So we may have to switch out or, or dry off your surface. Okay, now I'm gonna spray this again. Find a spot that doesn't have any color on it yet. And rub it all over. And this 
see how the color is soaking into my wet bandana. Now another thing you can try, but I think it'll take longer, is you can, you can actually put your marker on your bandana. Let's see what this looks like. This is kind of a fun little experiment. You get bigger coverage. You get a little bit more intense color here, and then you'll see the color will start bleeding. You can even rub it around. So that, that worked pretty good too. So you can do it both ways. Let's do that again on this side. I'm going to dampen this side and we're going to, we will take, let's try this purple marker and see what it does. We'll go right on here. Like I said, sometimes when the marker gets wet, it doesn't want to transfer, so. And that's working pretty good. Spray it with my water bottle again. Watch it start to bleed. Scrunch it up. All right turning out pretty. All right, let's go back to our original method. I'm going to dry my paper off. Paper towel, so it's not quite so wet. Let's see if my markers will transfer better. Oh yeah, that works good. So keep some paper towels or something nearby to, to dry off your plastic surface. I think maybe even a, a sandwich bag, a gallon bag might work really good. Um, like I said, something plastic that the marker won't soak into. But it, you can see it does stain, so it's gotta be something disposable, something you don't wanna ruin. Spray that again, get it nice and damp. Get our banana on there. Right. I'm going to go directly to the bandana again, try that method. So you can go back and forth, you can do whatever you want. I think this is working pretty good. Maybe we'll just continue this method. I say pick the method you're having the most luck with. If you're able to pick up a lot of that marker from your plastic, wet plastic, you can do it that way. I think plastic would work better than this parchment paper I have because it doesn't seem to like staying wet. So, scrunch it up. You can scrunch the whole thing up. Because it's wet, it should transfer. So look how pretty that is. Okay, I'm gonna concentrate on this corner next. And I'm gonna do red again. Trying to avoid colors that, when mixed, make a muddy, yucky brown. So if I were to start adding green to this, green and red makes brown or mud. And so I'm avoiding green. Blue would probably work okay because blue and red makes purple. Add a little yellow in here. Our, our, our thin markers that we use for camp work real well, but if you have fatter markers, they probably cover a little more area quicker. Okay, let's wet this and see what this looks like.
I might need more water here. Crunch it up. Oh, that looks good. Oh. So as opposed to traditional tie dyeing with dyes, you can at least, on um, doing it this way, you can sort of control where, you're, where you want your colors. Tie dye, because you usually twist it and roll it and wrap it, and then you squirt the dye on it, you don't always really know where your colors are going to go, what it's going to look like when you're done. Now, this, you're not going to be able to control this too much, but I think you control it a little better than just traditional tie dye. In this way, I'm choosing my colors putting them where I want to. And then, let's see, I think I'll add a little yellow. That yellow looks pretty on here. This would even be a fun project to do with a friend. You could do half and they could do half and you can see how, compare your size. But when this is done, you're going to want to have an adult or, well, you could set it in the sun and heat set it that way. We want to set our colors. Doesn't mean that if you washed it, I mean, you probably would lose some colors and I definitely wouldn't put anything in the washing machine that you don't want to possibly have this color transfer to. So I would hand wash it. But before you do that, I would set it in the sun or have an adult iron it for you on a cotton setting and try to set the colors into the fabric. It's called heat setting. And that way, if you were outside playing and you got caught in a rainstorm, you might run the risk of having some colors from your bandana get on your skin or your clothes. Ooh, that's turning out so pretty. All right, I'm gonna do some purple over here. This does seem to, our coverage seems a little better by doing it this way then or plastic sheet, but you can do it either way. You see how if I try to rub my purple marker where it's wet, it's not really transferring very well. So it really prefers the dry space. So we're kind of learning as we go here. The color likes to transfer onto a dry surface better than a wet surface. Okay, I'm gonna put some more red on here. That red really looks good. And we'll do some more on the plastic here next. you're working on a covered surface because protected surface I should say you don't want to get markers even though they're washable they until they do stain I have walked around with blue fingers before all right let's spray this good get it nice and wet or damp I should say we don't want it dripping wet that could get messy This is just a little spray bottle. Mm -hmm. it up. I like this part. 
Let me get some blending. Oh, look how good this is looking. Oh, now we can just wipe up what's on here. Get some more color on our bandana. All right, wow, isn't that pretty? Look at that, you guys. All right. All right, we just got a little bit more to do. I'm going to get me a, a dry piece of parchment paper. We'll try that method again. So this is what parchment paper looks like. It comes in a roll. I'm just gonna tear some off. Lay it back down on my work surface. Helps to tape it, but my surface might be too wet. That's good, all right, all right. Let's try this technique again. bandana. I'm going to wet the bandana too for this one. I think it'll pick up the color better. Okay. And let's pick up our color. I love how that looks. <laughs> Whew. Nice. color blend. All right, look at that. We've got one more corner to do. I think what we're going to do on this corner, we'll go marker direct to the fabric, direct to the bandana. I think you get more intense color that way. You can see like this side we kind of did mostly marker directly on the bandana and this side we did marker on the paper. So you can see the difference, and it's really your personal preference. Pink and some purple. using the side of the marker because it has a wider edge so I can get more coverage than if I did the tip would just draw me a thin line like that. transfer on our white spot. Oh yeah. Whew. Look how pretty that is. Okay. Got just one little area left to go. Add 
add some yellow to that. Maybe we'll get a nice orange color in there. up our surface. Woo! Look at that pretty bandana. Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? And I don't have any muddy colors because I used all colors that make another color when you blend them. So red and yellow makes our oranges. Pink and ye red yellow makes a nice peachy coral color. Our purples blend nice into the red. Isn't that beautiful? So you can always go back, like say, I want this middle part to have more emphasis. So draw with my marker right there. Spray it. And just kind of rub it around with your hand. So now my center of my bandana it's a little bit more of a focal point. All right, so now I would take this and I would go put it in the sun and let it dry completely. And then once it's dry and it's been baking in the sun for a little bit, you should be ready to go. Or you can have a parent take a hot iron and iron it afterwards um, or put it in a hot dryer and you are ready to go. All right, I hope you guys had fun. See you next time.